KRS One said, rappers rap for what's mostly illegal and MC rhymes to uplift their people. Christian hip hop in its early stages, it didn't understand the people, or if it understood the people, it understood the people through a lens cap of European epistemology of theology and white evangelicalism. What I mean is this is how they function. It's all sin. It had nothing to do with the trauma of what folks may have faced. When you add the fact that you grew up in a project, you grew up in a disenfranchised community, you're trying to find a way to make sense out of life. You're not going to find that in some Christian hip hop artists. You're going to find judgment, condemnation in those spaces. You may look at it from secular hip hop view. It's not going to say something about God in the midst of it. It may say something spiritual, but it's going to say, get the money this way. Machoism is going to have all kinds of ways to diss women. And I don't understand why we can't have MCs who can see that and say, this is not how we need to communicate about life and bring hope in the midst of that. The disconnect with the streets, the disconnect with what's happening with lives of people, you're not true to hip hop culture. If in the hood, all you're hearing all day is beat down, you this, you that, you fake, you ain't got no money, you broke. Probably the best message to start off with is you were created for a, a bigger purpose than what the streets told you, than what your past has told you, than your family and their situation, how they grew up. There's more to life than this. I just desire good music from MCs who love the Lord to be relevant and to bring a message that's not so condemning because there's enough of that already, especially with folks who feel disenfranchised in the hood.